my name's Nat Lowry. I'm a regional contact person with the Yes to Life No to Mining Global Network. And I'm going to show you through Feedloop, which is the virtual platform we'll be using in the global gathering in the coming week. It won't be the same as face-to-face, -face, but we really hope this virtual experience is a, is a bit of an improvement and that we can really connect. So let's get started. Upon registering for the gathering, you would have received or you will receive an email with the subject header, Welcome, Yes to Life, No to Mining Global Gathering. Please make sure to check your spam and your junk mail. And if still no luck and you haven't got this email, please email us on info at yes to life, no to mining .org. So once you have the email, open it up and you'll see there's a welcome message in English, Spanish and French. And at the bottom, it will have your email and a password that it's given you, a unique password for you. So make sure you copy that password and save it somewhere and then press click here. That will be open to this page. We have a couple of different options in how you can view Feedloop and view the gathering. It can be web access, which is through your desktop. If you only have a phone, you can either view through iPhone or Android. But the best way is to be able to view it through the actual virtual web portal. So if I click on that, it will take us here. And once you're here, you can enter in your email and also the new unique password that has been given to you. And then just press login. This will bring you to the lobby page of the Yes to Life No to Mining Global Gathering. Another really good thing about Feedloop is that it is multilingual. So up here on the right hand corner, you have this here. This symbol here, if you click on it, you can select a language. So let's go ahead and select Spanish. And as you can see, all the menu has translated into Spanish. And then you can go to another language like French and same. We also have accessibility. So some people may be hard of hearing or visually impaired. They can go to this, they can also choose a language. And then they can choose what, what accessibility needs they may have. And there is quite a few in here to really help people out, including color adjustments for those people that may have issues with colors on screens. So there's all these things here. You can remove animations, just have text, whatever seems the best for you in terms of making this most accessible experience. And this is, um, you can access here the program, the speakers, members, your account, uh, and connecting with other attendees. Here you'll see um, a photo booth. So when you get here, maybe take a photo of yourself and leave a message. It's pretty easy. You just press launch. Make sure your camera settings are working on your device. Take a photo and then write a message. We also have the social wall which is a Yes to Life, No to Mining uh, Twitter feed that will be updated. In the middle is, is our announcements. Uh, we start here with a video that uh, actually talks about the history of how this network got started. We also have links directly to the program and also some emblematic cases from the network if you want to view them. And on the right hand side, we have a chat. Now this chat is public, so anything you write in here, everyone will see. And so I'm just gonna write, hi everyone. And then press send. And you can see it's come up. Most important uh, menu item here on the left that you'll really want to look at is the program. 
So if I click on program, it will take you to the sessions that will be running through the gathering next week. If I click here, for example, at, on Defend the Defenders, and all these sessions will be in your time zone. So we click here, it will, it will ask you to come into the Zoom. It will actually be a Zoom that is fed through this platform and to turn on audio and then you can enter. There's also this engage button here. Maybe somewhere through one of the sessions, the moderator will invite you to go to the engage section. So you can go to the engage section. In this case, it's a mural board. If we go and see the board, you will see here, you can answer some of the questions here. This is something you can do in your own time, you can come back to, or through the streaming of the webinar. And to go back to the live stream or to the Zoom, you just go back into here. Now, taking you back to the side here, if you were like, oh, I know there's a speaker I'd really like to listen to. I know Jonathan Metzelin, for example. He's speaking. So I can do that. Filter. And you can see Jonathan is speaking here. So in filter, you can filter by the sessions, by the days, and also speakers. You can also create a personal schedule. And you can do this by going back to, just go back to the menu. This little button here, I unclick it. So when you come here, these will just be these squares with a cross. If I click that, it adds it to my own personal schedule. So let's just add all of these. And then I go to filter, personal schedule, and these come up. And also, I can remove these, of course. Another thing to remember when you're actually viewing a session is you can make this screen bigger. You can either go here and press it and makes it go bigger and then press escape to go back to the portal. The other way is you can just hide this section, press hide all. You can hide the menu, this little button up here, hide panel. And you can also hide the chat. And there you have a much more bigger view for you to listen to the speakers. And to go back, you can just go show all, click the panel back for the main menu, and same for the chat box. So one of the fantastic things about Feedloop, which is unlike the normal Zoom webinars that most of us have been attending, is that we can actually connect with each other in, in a much more proactive and better way. So under program and under speakers, you've got members. This will be a page set up for Yes to Life No to Mining member organisations. So in this case, we have AidWatch. We can go in and we can see there's an email, their website, their socials. You can contact that person, which happens to be myself in this case. You can start a chat with them. They also may have some documents to download, some reports or briefing papers that they've written, as well as other information and maybe videos that they want to share. And in the connecting tab, you click on that tab, you're going to see all the attendees and you can have a look and you can go, oh, I know this person. I know Andrew Whitmore. Go to Andrew Whitmore and you can start a chat with him. Alternatively, you can go to private chats and also start a chat with someone. So here's Jaime. I'm going to go, hey there, Jaime. And then send. You can also create a video call with that person, which will be private. This is a way to be able to communicate in the sessions or throughout the outside the sessions, you're able to actually connect with each other. So definitely make use of that. So you've also got your own account page. 
And it's really important that you try and fill in as much as you can. So people can know who you are and what you do. And you can add files as I have here. And you can also change your password to something that's maybe more memorable for you. Finally, I want to draw your attention to the bottom left hand. Here, you can ask for help and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So it's the Yes to Life No to Mining support button, if you want to call it that. So if you're having issues or you're finding it a little difficult, just click and submit your question and we'll aim to get back to you as soon as possible. So just to remember that the gathering will have interpreters in each session in English, French and Spanish. We'll also have recordings, so if you miss a session, you can jump back into the feed loop and you can watch that session again. And they're going to stay up for like a good three months. So we really hope you can familiarise yourself with this virtual platform and, and have some fun through the gathering. And just remember, solidarity has the power to turn a voice into a movement. We look forward to seeing you. Bye.